Hello, YTBC. This is Steve, and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. I got off work earlier. It's going to smoke a pipe, make a video, because I haven't made a video this week. Enjoy the beginning of a long weekend with Christmas on Monday. Haven't been feeling 100% this last week. I'm not sure why. If it's cold or whatever. But I haven't been very sick. Just a little bit. Smoking a Phil Rivara pipe. Corbin Dublin Rusticated. And in it, I'm smoking some St. Bruno Ready Rubbed. I believe it's a Virginia Burley, Kentucky, with a little Lakeland topping. Just kind of means uh, there's a something on it that is noticeable but kind of lets the tobacco shine through I think that's why I would label it as Lakeland for reference it's tasting good uh, I was scrounging for a tobacco to smoke because the one that I'd set out to dry and smoke, I didn't care for when I got it in my pipe. I had this other pipe and I started smoking it. And uh, the tobacco was just so irritating. And that was uh, GLP's Windjammer. Not for me, I guess. Not really sure. If, I don't know. The blends that C&D puts out, largely to the whole, seem to irritate me more than less. I don't know if I just stove them they would do better for me. I haven't really gotten into experiments with uh, tobaccos. But I think that's because I have so many different ones that if one doesn't work, just set it to the side and try something else. But not great, not great for my palate. The St. Bruno is much better. So then I was trying to find a blend that wasn't quite so wet because I just want to smoke it right away. I don't have the time to set out another blend to dry. I don't like smoking blends that are pretty moist anymore. I need to get some more of these pouches. Got a little pouch where I can keep tobacco in. And the tobacco kind of dries out in the pouch, uh, but not like super fast. And so I think I need to keep a couple of different pouches so I can have more than just one tobacco kind of drying out in it slowly. It's either that or just figure out then I'm gonna just set out all the tobacco and let it all kind of dr start drying out and then put it back in the jar or tin. I kind of hate the idea of doing that because I think the moisture is good for uh, letting the tobacco age and get better over time. 
So I wouldn't want to do that unless I knew I was going to keep smoking until all that tobacco was gone. Anywho, pretty boring chat. I was thinking about uh, Christmas, doing a Christmas supper tomorrow. Going to make a ribeye. Invited uh, our Ukraine family friends over for supper. And wanted to give them some semblance of a Christmas dinner. I don't even know what that looks like. I mean, besides like maybe the desserts, I'm really not sure. I mean, to me, Christmas dinner is like the same thing as Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know. They're very similar. So I guess we're trying to differentiate it with uh, rib roast, rib eye, I mean prime rib, whatever. And uh, gonna do some scalloped potatoes. I have a fancy res recipe that, I don't know, it just, to me it's like the fanciest meal I, dish that we make in flavors. Like they're very kind of complex. I just think they're the delicious that those scalloped potatoes make. And then one dish we like never make, but I was trying to think of a pretty traditional American vegetable. <laughs> and I thought of the green bean casserole. That's pretty uh, American, traditional, maybe Christmas, I don't know. I guess everyone has their dishes that they make. But we always have Christmas dinner with family, so we're never like making a whole meal. So hopefully that goes well, and I, I'm gonna cook that rib, uh, uh, prime rib on the grill. So we'll see how that goes. It's really warm here. Normally that would maybe not go so well, cause or be hard, cause it's so cold. But. It's supposed to be like in the 40s tomorrow, not windy, just like 20, 20 degrees seasonally warmer than normal, which is quite a bit. Cold will come at some point. Uh, and then Christmas, right around the corner. Got all the presents for that. Sent my secret Santa gift. Sent that on Monday. So, hopefully that gets to whoever soon. And then, um, got all my kids' gifts. We need to wrap those presents. Buying uh, kiss gifts this year was a little bit tricky for my kids seems like seeing a growing trend of uh, I don't know what I want for Christmas which is really confusing because when I was a kid I had no problem coming up with a list of things that I wanted for Christmas I don't know if that was because of advertisements or um, not having as much uh, just not being as well off There's a couple Christmas presents that I would dream of that I knew I was never going to get. I knew I was never going to get. It was way too expensive. I would never get it. But, man, I love to dream. And one of the things was at Toys R Us, yeah, back when that store existed, they had remote control cars. And I wanted a fast remote control car, a good remote control car. And batteries weren't so good when I was good. You would just go through those things so fast and your cars weren't very fast at all. So 
so I wanted one of the gas-powered ones. One so it could go fast. So I'd never, I would never ask for that kind of present. But that's, that was a present I wanted when I was a kid. The other one I know that I wanted was one of those little uh, dirt bikes. And I wanted a dirt bike. I had no idea where I would ride that thing. I'd probably be too scared to ride it once I had it. But man, I wanted that. In fact, I had a friend uh, who lived out in the country. And I feel like a common thing of living on a farm for a really long time is you have some area of the farm with these abandoned different things. Just all dusty, dirty, whatever. And there's some treasures in there that might need some work. And one of those things is he had a dirt bike. Oh, man, I would just look at that and go, oh, can't we get that going? wanted wanted to ride a dirt bike never got it going but my kids no nope, don't want anything we don't want to just give them more stuff so it's tricky it's tricky to find presents you have buying presents for the cousins cousins all do a gift exchange which is really just parents buying other kids guess for them I don't know that was weird I'm not into the old gift exchange I'm not super anti it but at the same time it seems like a bunch of people telling each other what to buy for each other and maybe uh, other people are way better at it than that but you kind of want to buy something someone actually wants because everybody's gotten a bunch of gifts that maybe remain in the same spot that you put it after getting the gift from last Christmas. And you don't want to do that. You want something they actually care about. But it's got to fit a 20 or $30 price range. And how many 20 or $30 things do you not just buy yourself if you want it? <laughs> oh, for $20? I wish I could have this. But I would never buy that. Anyway. I'm trying to teach my kids a little bit to... They're getting old enough. Hey, do you think about getting other people gifts? And you know it hasn't crossed their mind. Not on the slightest, you know. We're like a week out from Christmas. And it's like, huh, I guess I could do that. Should I use my own money? Yes, yes, you should. You should. It's coming from you. <laughs> it doesn't have to be big or fancy. It could be a stick of gum. I don't know. We have real expectations for young people. <laughs> I don't know. So I think they ended up getting gifts. Probably bought themselves some gifts for themselves too. <laughs> But arguably, I'm pretty difficult to buy gifts for because I buy all the things I want already. Well, I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, sorry. If you celebrate something else, I hope that time is wonderful too. Uh, I just enjoy uh, this time of year, and I enjoy being able to see family, and uh, I just hope that you're able to enjoy that time, too. We'll probably see you next week. I'll try to create a video. I'm going to be 
not on vacation. I normally take off between Christmas and New Year's, but not this year. Didn't have any vacation days, so maybe I'll be around to make a video. We'll see. Hopefully it's less lame this than this one. <laughs> we'll talk to you all later. Have a great weekend. Bye.